the whole concept is, is, a, is a, the journey. It's an ongoing kind of experiment I've been working on with implementing the graphics into the knitwear. So what possibilities there are with new ways of production. Patterns and the graphics are something that repeats itself. Then to kind of distort it so the repetition falls away. It's an ongoing graphic experiment I would say with the, with the fabrics. This is the first time I've done it like this way. I was really happy with the outcome because it was kind of like, you know, giving all the characters a much broader story and not only showing the clothes but also showing the people wearing them in the action where I imagine them to, to come from. When the movie ends, the characters come to life and you see them in front of you and it's, a, I think, a very effective way to, to grasp the attention. When I started the brand, I was, I was 19. And I had no, like, pre-thought ideas about business. I mean, I was just doing, like, space knitwear. I was in the Art Academy and there was this project about doing the cover of the, the Icelandic phone book. And so it goes to every home in the country. So, of course, everyone gets really hyped up. I thought it would be a good idea to make classic Icelandic wool pattern knitted phone book. I saw, see the fabric and I say, hey, okay, can you make a sweater out of, out of this? And so they're like, yeah. So I'm wearing my sweater on the town and people start asking, you know, where, where can we buy it? And, and so I, I get, oh, maybe I should make more, you know? And so I bring it to a concept shop here in Reykjavik called uh, Kronkron. And they, they say, they like it and they say, yeah. I opened my first shop here in Reykjavik. Of course, I would just like to have like shops all over the world <laughs> and you know collections like I'm doing now. But like maybe I could have more items like shoes and backpacks and stuff like that. More high tech. I want to go into like super high tech, like warm clothes. You know, big jacket which you can wear in the freezing cold, and it's not make you look like a tourist. I think I will, I can really fit in with a like doing you know wearable and warm